I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Happily, I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. student. I watched your bout against Jing Wu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! 
What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. You will have your chance to fight soon enough. Go to Gu Jin, the Weapon Master. He has a weapon for you, and you will have need of it before long. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gu Jin will be in his shop near the village gate, up the stairs from the village square. You near the end of your training, but I am still your master. You have a greater role than you know. For now, do as I say and keep the basics at heart. get a chance to see some combat if there are truly bandits coming. I'm sure Master Lee will be able to save Kia Min even if she's wounded. But I wonder who will salve her pride walking along the shore my foot. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. That makes sense. Is that how you live your life? If so, it certainly seems to be an effective philosophy. You could just be pouring honey in my ears, but that's not half as fun as other places it could go. Oh my, you've gone kind of red. I shouldn't tease you like that. Maybe I should spend more time training and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip, even if I am just that. Of note? There's only one student of note, and that would be you. Everyone else, even Dawnstar, is just a background for you and your supposed destiny. Not that you don't deserve the attention. I'd be flirting with you non-stop if you weren't so focused on whatever it is Master Lee has in store for you. All of us get a little envious of that. Even Gao gets pushed aside, and he doesn't like being anything less than the center of attention. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? Why would you ask me? Everyone knows I don't get along with her. She's too moody to talk to. Always looking past you as if there's something more interesting happening behind you. You certainly don't seem to have any trouble getting along with her. And you, of all people, should know to look for her at her garden by the school gate. Leaving so soon? Oh well, back to my training.
What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. What does Gal the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help key him in. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? Only what Master Lee has told you in the past. You are meant for great things. But you must discover them yourself. It must be so frustrating, but exciting as well. I like hearing about the great things you are destined for, even if they are unknown. You are filled with promise. My skills are darker. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Lee discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Why are we going back to the school? We need to go to Gujin's, north of the main square in town. <laughs> 